Well, I have just found out something pretty crazy, and that is that Popeye, you know, glug, 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 spinach drinking, eating character, is actually based on a real person, and he was Polish. Let's find out a little bit more about him. In the annals of American popular culture, few fictional characters have captured the public's imagination quite like Popeye the Sailor Man. With his bulging forearms, squinting eye, and gruff demeanor, the iconic cartoon hero has entertained generations of fans since his debut in 1929. So... Now, I would say uh, Robin Williams did a fantastic version of him uh, in the live action version. Um, but one fact is he drinks slash eats, almost drinks spinach. Um, the spinach that he eats is obviously full of iron, apparently, which makes him big and strong. However, spinach is like rubbish for iron content. So it's not actually very accurate. People think, oh, you need iron in your diet eat spinach. Actually, no, there's plenty of other vegetables that are actually better for you in terms of iron consumption. Little fact for you there. You can Google it yourself. I, I'm not doing it for you. However, the origins of this beloved character can be traced back to a real life figure. A man named Frank Rocky Fiegel, whose larger than life persona and remarkable exploits inspired the creation of one of the most enduring icons in the world of comics and animation. Born on January 27, 1868 in Poland, Frank Fiegel was the son of immigrant parents who had settled in the small town of Chester, Illinois. From an early age, Fiegel's physical prowess and pugnacious nature set him apart from his peers. As a young man, he gained a reputation as a tough, fearless individual who was always ready to defend himself and those he cared about. According to local lore, Fiegel's exploits were the stuff of legend. He was known to frequent the town saloons where he would often get into fistfights with patrons who dared to cross him. The problem is we've got here is because it was so long ago, you know, if he was born in like 1860s, actually, how much evidence do you have of this? How much of this is just stories and, and myths maybe going onto this character or this person? Now, he clearly was real because I think there are photos of him. But how much is actually true? Maybe it was just the fact that he looks, does this weird look on his face with a pipe. I don't know. However, Fiegel's reputation as a brawler was tempered by his kind heart and his fondness for the local children, whom he would often entertain with tales of his adventures and feats of strength. One of Fiegel's most enduring quirks was his love of smoking a corncob pipe, which he would often hold in the corner of his mouth giving him a distinctive appearance that would later become a hallmark of the Popeye character. Definitely. Additionally, Fiegel's prominent chin and squinting eye, the result of an injury sustained in one of his many fights, further cemented the physical resemblance between the real-life man and his fictional counterpart. It was this unique blend of toughness, eccentricity, and compassion that caught the eye of Elsie Chrysler Seeger, the creator of the Popeye comic strip. Seeger, who was born and raised in Chester, was intimately familiar with Fiegel and his larger-than-life persona. As he set out to create a new comic strip character, he drew heavily on Fiegel's distinctive appearance and personality, transforming the real-life figure into the iconic Popeye the Sailor Man. I think actually a lot of characters that are made up, whether it's cartoon or in books or in films or whatnot, a lot of these characters, the, the authors and the artists, they actually draw upon real life people, don't they? But they sort of exaggerate everything. So talking about his, you know, the way that his mouth is and whatnot, holding that pipe. Now, clearly the character of Popeye is that over-exaggeration of him. The whole strength thing is the over-exaggeration of him. Interesting though. Despite the enduring popularity of the Popeye character, Fiegel himself remained largely unaware of his role in its creation. It wasn't until 1938, nine years before his death, that he learned of his connection to the beloved cartoon hero. In an article published in the St. Louis Post-Dispatch, Fiegel was featured sitting in a rocking chair, pipe in hand, with the caption identifying him as the inspiration for Popeye. Tragically, Fiegel's final years were marked by obscurity and neglect. After his death on March 24, 1947, at the age of 79, 
He was buried in an unmarked grave next to his mother's resting place. It wasn't until 1996 that a group of local residents, inspired by Fiegel's legacy, erected a headstone featuring a depiction of the Popeye character from 1929, ensuring that the real-life inspiration for one of the world's most beloved icons would not be forgotten. The story of Frank Rocky Fiegel is a testament to the power of the human spirit and the enduring impact that a single individual can have on the collective imagination. Though he may have lived a life far removed from the high seas adventures of his fictional counterpart, Fiegel's larger-than-life persona and unwavering spirit left an indelible mark on the town of Chester and the world beyond. In the words of Fiegel's own nephew, when Rocky started coming after him, he pulled a knife, but Rocky kept coming. This fearless determination, coupled with Fiegel's kind heart and unique eccentricities, made him the perfect muse for one of the most iconic characters in American popular culture. As we reflect on the life of Frank Rocky Fiegel, we are reminded of the profound impact that chance encounters and unexpected inspirations can have on the creative process. The well, interesting. Uh, it's interesting because, one, first, my, my final thought on this was that it's a bit late now, isn't it? It's a bit late getting that cool headstone with with the with the Popeye on and things. It's a bit late because he didn't know. <laughs> he didn't really, he's not really alive to see it, which is always a shame. These characters always seem to um, grow after the death of, of the person, um, which is always such a shame. It's the same with a lot of artists, isn't it? Um, where their works become actually big and famous after they've died, which is it's such a shame, isn't it? Now, this character is obviously this character of Popeye, which is known surely around the world, Popeye the Sailor Man. I remember watching it as a child, but I wouldn't have had a clue that it was based quite heavily on a certain person. But that is what people do, isn't it? This is what these creative people do. They draw from reality and then make it larger than life, which clearly Popeye the Sailor Man was. But he's Polish. He was po he, p p p Polish. Didn't know that. Maybe that's why he spoke funny. Not that Polish people speak funny, but you know what I mean. Um, interesting. And I hope you found that interesting too. Uh, the remarkable story of Frank Rocky Fiegel. Interesting indeed. Hope you have a wonderful day. Make sure you like and subscribe and I'll catch you next time.